What's going on guys? It is Bernardo and yes, today is all about installing Smart Deploy version 3. So let's get right into it. Okay, so for this video, I basically created a new virtual machine and within programs and features, the only thing that I have installed was Google Chrome and pushed out all the Windows updates. Okay, uh, the next thing that I did was go into this website. And we need to download and install the Windows ADK as well as the Win PE stuff. So make sure you download those two files. And because I'm using Chrome, I am able to click on that little arrow and then go to show in folder, which is going to take me to the downloads folder. We're going to install the first one, which is ADK. I'm going to select it, right click on it and run it as an administrator. It's going to load up and bring you here. I'm gonna leave everything as the default, click on next. From here, this is really up to you, pick yes or no. Once you're done, click on next, accept the license and terms. I'm gonna leave all the default features as this, and then going to click on install. It's going to install, once it's done, you're going to get that, just close it. Now, the last thing that we need to do is, you know, install your WinPE, so select it, right click on it, run it as an administrator, it's gonna load up, it's going to give you this, and I'm gonna leave everything as the default again, click next, pick your option, click next here, accept the license and terms, you only have one thing to install, so just click install, it's gonna start installing all the features, and once it's done, you're going to get this, and click on close, and then within your control panel, inside programs and features, you're going to see that you have the latest and greatest Windows ADK, which supports Windows 11. How awesome is that? Now, next thing that we need to do is open up your favorite browser. For me, it's Google Chrome. Log in into the Smart Deploy uh, portal, your admin portal, and click on that big button that says Download Now. Once you click on it, it's gonna start downloading that 1.63 gig EXE file. And once you're done, I'm going to click on that little arrow and then go to show in folder and it's gonna open up the downloads folder. I'm gonna select the SDE setup file, right click on it and run it as an administrator. Uh, it's gonna automatically scan your machine and download and install the pre for this particular software. I love that. And click on install. Once everything is done, downloading, installing, it's gonna start launching and prepping up to install Smart Deploy on your machine. Uh, once this is done prepping up, it's gonna start loading up. It's gonna give you this, pretty self-explanatory. Click next here, accept the license and terms, next, install. Once it's done, it's going to give you this, so we are going to click on finish. It's going to load up and it's going to want you to log in using your email and password. So make sure you enter that information and click OK. And it's going to take you inside your Smart Deploy console. So the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to prompt you this. Make sure you hit yes on this particular uh, dialog box because you do want to add this particular exclusion within your Windows Defender. Once you're done, Bam, you're done. On the upper right hand side, you're going to see a red little dot. So I do recommend clicking on that bell. And it's it's a notification. It's your first notification within Smart Deploy. I do recommend clicking on that link. It will take you here. If you are running Smart Deploy version two, read this. One of the most important parts on this website is this section here. Uh, because if you currently are not using a particular version within your environment, uh, Smart Deploy does advise you to download it, install it, and then install V3 to take advantage of the V3 upgrade option within that exe file. And that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.